This is Twit. Here is Jack Dorsey's presentation for Web 5. You know, Web 2 plus Web 3 equals Web 5. The next web. When I heard about this, I thought, oh, you're joking, right? This is a joke. I don't think it is. No, it's not joking. I, I tweeted and he answered. I said, what is the relationship of this to Blue Sky? And he answered that Blue Sky can be built on top of this. Yeah, because the identity. tagline, Web5, is the decentralized web platform. Of course, Blue Sky is decentralized Twitter. So oh, I should go look at this. I have not seen this. It is this on uh, I put Google. It up, I put it up there because I wanted to hear what yeah. you guys thought of this. And, and, and any BS detection you have, uh, well, that's, that's not, even not fair. Um, what, what interests you? Because I can't fully figure it out. It's about it's about distributed what? identity, and there's some what interesting slides here about d confirming that identity. Uh, that would be line uh, 25, uh, uh, oh. Botham Bot. Uh, Higginbot. 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 Yeah. yeah. I, I go for the Gigabot person. But yeah. If you want to go Higginbot. Have right, you been I'll called Higginbot a hundred times before? Um, no, but when I was in school, they called me Higginbot. That was oh, or that's I the had difference. a huge Higginbottom. That's, Ooh, that's the difference awful. between then and now. Right. <laughs> now you are a bot, here. not a butt. We're, we're going to talk Web 5. That's what we're going to talk. Evolving yeah, the web. Thinking. Okay. <laughs> Today, in the current web model, his presentation says, people are users who do not own their own data or identity, right? They're given accounts by companies and their data is held captive in app silos. That's oh, clearly... Oh, this isn't going to work. That's okay. a problem. The web we want to create a new class of decentralized apps and protocols that put individuals at the center, we must empower them with self-owned identity and restore control over the data. You know, I mean, this is, everybody's saying this. Tim Berners-Lee, who invented Tim the World Wide Web, Web, is saying yeah. so, this. But is yeah. he going to build it? Well, that's the question. Well, you is, can't build it, so you can't. The problem is people are stupid and lazy, and we don't want to actually have the technical capabilities to do and manage our own identity in a way that can be multifactored across lots of places. Nobody wants and to make a server doesn't want to make it they don't want to make it easy for us because they can monetize and trap us by using the mm -hmm. centralized identity as a way to to track like to offer services and to track us and all that so this is this is basically like oh give me some sort of philosophy about like work and people and rights i mean i don't i don't know i'm at jack to the rescue anyway. it's socialism is that what you're saying, Stacey Higgins? No, it's more like a tragedy of the. It's of the not a commons? tragedy of the yeah. commons. It's like, it's like basically like people want to get value for nothing, and companies want to extract all the value they can from people. There's right. not really a medium ground. Right. There's no reason for them to make it easy for us. Right. And in fact, I would imagine companies would see this as a great opportunity because, as as you pointed out, if you have a unique identifier. Uh, with all your data in it, oh, companies are gonna say, "Hey, great, that makes it a lot easier for us." Thank you. Just, mm -hmm. just hand, you would think hand that, hand but that think over. how like we we built the web, which was perfect for things like this in a lot of ways. Like you look at like things like uh, domain registries and URLs. I mean, that made it easy to get places on right. the web, and and it was a fairly accessible system for many people. It's not accessible for everyone. Think about like how well that worked, but then we all wanted to create these walled gardens. I mean, it's like whatever that forever tension is called. This look at um, slide nine. This is exactly. yeah. I, I have it up right now. This is. Um, I think this is blue sky. I think this is kind of what blue sky is saying, and blue sky might be a Twitter implementation of this mm -hmm. concept. But this is what I think he wants to do. This decentralized. Um, and a lot of people have thought a lot about this. Somebody's obviously put a lot of thought into this, but until there is a proof of concept application, I'm not, you know, where's... It's still, you're looking at trust and identity. You need a trusted view of identity, right? And without a centralized authority for that, because that would be... Yeah, well, we have that. It's called pub up. public key crypto. Right. Uh, PKI does it for a lot of things. Um, so we, we kind of have that kind of thing but, but, but to stacy's point major pain in the butt yeah and do. even more like well what's the incentive what's the, what, why would amazon or facebook or, or google right. do this i mean they're gonna say yeah sure you, go ahead fine yeah 
And if you, you want to visit us, you're going to handle over your IT so we know who you are. Mm-hmm. Right. Do you, okay, so this is kind of silly, but looking at this uh, presentation, I want to, uh, where should I put a, a file? A friend of mine wrote this, and this this presentation just brings it all home. Um, put it in the chat on the uh, uh, Google Doc. Chat on the Google. Oh, no, I just started to meet. Hold on. Wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, My soon man. that's going to be a duo. All right, so yeah. episode... Where does it where does it go on the top? No, on the bottom. Here. Oh, I just stuck it. No, undo. <laughs> I can't work the internet. <laughs> Shit, you haven't worked the internet long, uh, Stacy. Put it put it in IRC or I'm gonna put it, put it in, in line Reddit, and or, then put it in line twenty eight. Line forty six. You don't have to excuse us. This technology stuff is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy's you know, like ah. You don't really um, know how it works. But go ahead. Let's just weigh in on Jack's Web Five. <laughs> so, exactly. On, so I line have an forty-six opinion. is where it is. Okay. But uh, my friend who works at an analyst firm, he he wrote about what he calls the developer aesthetic, which is exactly this. It's like hexagons. It's got the font for. It. It's basically like trying to appeal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So and I was like. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, my God, it's the developer aesthetic. Yeah, until Completely there's code. And, totally. and I, maybe there is code. I'm not saying there isn't. But, you know, it's hard to judge. Yeah, This is a nice slideshow, but it's hard to judge it until there's code, right? It is. I mean, well, in just the... It feels like the tech people, they come at it and they're like, I have this beautiful vision. And then they they come out and they program it and they come up with like protocols and a way to make it happen. And then the business people look at that and they say, how can I make that make right. me money? Right. And the tech people, you would think they would figure out that that's what happens every time, but it's like they don't. And then when the business people come in and start making money, the tech people either do one of two things. They jump in sell and they're out. like, they sell out and they sell out in the most like just Mark a Zuckerbergian way where they're just like continuously making unethical decisions and just, you know, getting away with it and apologizing later if they have to, or they just like leave completely and become like weird people who live in basements and rail from, you know, the, from like chats about <laughs> selling out. Uh, just on, the, I'm, I'm looking at this slideshow. I mean, he's really kind of just describing PKI. I, um, I, you know, they are, or I saw like 20 of these back in like 20, yeah. 20, mm -hmm. 2008, 2010. So many, like, especially with the rise of like the beginning of the IOT, cause everybody was like, Oh, you'll carry all your data and your data, like yeah. your data profile will talk to the devices and tell you right. what you right. like and what right. you don't like. And yeah, it's still the internet we want though. The oh yeah. Is, is there any path to it? Not until it makes everybody some money. But we're not going to pay me, for it. It's not, I don't. So here's the problem, and this is the problem. In fact, I thought Jack Dorsey was one of the people who really got that this was the problem, which is Web three. Maybe he does, I and mean, that's why he's proposing Web five. Web three looks like it's democratic. It's really controlled by a few companies. NFTs VCs. look like they're they look <laughs> VCs, like they're exactly yeah, yeah. PCs. Yep. They look like they're democratic, but it's but it's if it's not an open sea. It doesn't exist. So it's one of those. You know, I mean, the web looks like it's democratic, except if it's not on Google, it doesn't exist. So there are gatekeepers in all of these things. And I, I think that that's, I don't know. I, I feel like that's going to be a tough one to get around. It sounds a lot like today's episode of Floss Weekly. With, Do they talk uh, about this stuff? Yeah, Mr. Sam Kern talked a lot about DIDs and yeah. uh, Pico and all of this stuff with identification, the decentralized identification. So... Yeah, check that out, y'all. It's it's, it's it's kind episode of episode six eighty five today. Yeah, I mean, it's a soft thing, but I don't know how it gets implemented globally as a, as a, the next internet. These things don't happen kind of that way. They they happen much yeah, more. Yeah, you need like an IEEE well, standard or something. Right, right. Even then, <laughs> how do you get regular people to understand this stuff? That's that's a challenge, right? How do you get them to understand this stuff and get them to want to buy in? And make all of the all of the. I think regular people now involved. understand they want privacy, but mm -hmm. I, don't I think, think they do. I think when you tell they them, want convenience, I will give you really. privacy. Yeah, yeah, I was like, if I tell you, I will give you privacy, but I won't be able to give you Google Maps because of that. They're like, yeah. 
Oh, sorry. They're like, heck no. I want Google Maps. No, I think you're right. I'm out. Yeah, even in Germany. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Convenience, ultimately, is all we care. Well, so back to Stacy's point. Can you, if you're an entrepreneur, can you see in Jack's map a way to build a business that survives on its own using this structure and starts to, to draw capital in so that people can make money doing that? So then, then and I'm saying it's not the average person. It's the person who builds this into a usable service of some sort, uh, Blue Sky Twitter, whatever, and say, yeah, I like that. No, because nobody wants to be in the picks and shovels. They want to be in like the walled garden. They want the highest profit margins. They don't want to build like the path. Like remember how Intel funded all these companies to help drive the adoption of their chips? Most people don't have the Intel mentality. They have the telco mentality, which is like, these are my pipes and you're going to pay dearly to use it. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to decide if you're what. And VCs always want that other model. So here's another theory. Uh, just playing here. Um, Jack's Web 5 is regulation proof. Uh, in the sense that it's distributed. It's not proof. I don't quite mean what I'm saying. But, but, it, but it's no longer the big company is the big target. Uh, the big place where we, everything is controlled and we, and we resent that. Uh, things are happening in a thousand places. And it'll confuse the hell out of regulators for a long time. And they won't know how to do it. And so you have another permissionless um, environment to work in. Just playing here. I personally think permissionless environments in today's society that, again, I'm going to go with like end stages or the, the most money-grubbing stage of capitalism is probably a bad thing for users. Yeah, as soon as I said it, I knew you were saying it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, here comes my, my socialist I thought, oh, friend. I know where this is going to go. Yeah, no. Sorry. I I, I've really no, you're lost right. a yeah, you're lot right. of I faith. I don't disagree. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be a business reporter, actually. 22 years ago when I started, I was really excited. But now, no. I don't see the incentive, yeah, for any business to adopt this, right? I see why users might want to. Although I think it's way too complicated. Look, we can't even get it's rid of passwords. We're trying to get rid of passwords, <laughs> and we can't even get that done. Nope. Uh, I, I, I've, you know. Yeah, but Leo, I, I, so I was writing about this recently. The, when I was at Delphi Internet for a horrible month, and they came in and showed me and others the Netscape browser. And the, the nerds got it immediately and said, oh, hell, here we are trying to make a GUI for a, a, a closed network, and that's dead. They all got it immediately. The, 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 the media executives there said, oh, this is way too complicated. Nobody's ever going to do this. What's this HTTP? What? What's, what's that? No, no one's ever going to do this. They're going to stay on AOL forever. And of course, they were wrong because people mm -hmm. did develop the web to make it usable. So, mm -hmm. you know, can you but imagine, gave up. can I imagine this being usable? Yes. So, so they gave that up though, when they, we had a brief moment of like unity around like HTML and links and all kinds of things. And then we were beautiful. like, well, crap, we have to make money. Advertising is the way. And then we started getting, you know, Cookies, clickbait, and, 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 click and, and you know all the things that the cookies. the advertising. So, again, I'm saying the tech people have within them to make something that solves the problem that they see. But if you don't say that the problem that you see is that eventually all of this gets corrupted by the need to make gobs of money, like profit, it, it, you know, VC profits. Money. VC money, then you're not actually solving the whole problem. You're just solving a little bit of the problem. Let me ask each of you, what's the problem you see with the web today? Mm. Uh, I think the problem I see in the web is it's siloed and it's controlled by a, a number of big companies. The web is a great idea. The, the, the distributed web is such a brilliant uh, and clean and simple idea. But unfortunately, uh, you know, it's become siloed, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, so there's Twitter, there's Facebook, there's Google. Uh, you know, there's Amazon. And did you see um, John Oliver's piece on Sunday on big tech? No, I had no chance to. Yeah. yeah. No. yeah. It was interesting. Uh, I would say it's data extraction without any sort of governance or 
not even regulation, ethics, I would just say. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And? That would would be my biggest issue with it. Because I I do, I agree with you, Leo. It is wonderful. And I don't think being siloed is the worst part about it. I think it's the fact that people don't understand what all they're giving away when they... Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, because it isn't, it isn't really siloed. You can have Twitter and Mastodon and and Facebook, and you know you can move around. You're not stuck in any one spot. It's a shame. It would be nice if information would flow a little more freely through these mm-hmm. walls, but you know. Uh, well, see, that's that's what I feel is is an advantage and disadvantage of it is just how free things can be, where uh, you can be anonymous. Or you can be, you know, who you are, actual show who you are out there. Uh, But at the same time, being anonymous could be quite problematic at times for certain people. Um, Or being anonymous could be an advantage for certain people, depending on the the situation. Uh, So it's, I I love being able to have the internet and share information, but sometimes it's too much bad information that's getting shared that ends up being the, the gospel and it shouldn't have been. I, on the ba- on balance, though, I agree with you, Jeff, that the internet is on balance very positive, and still and remains mm-hmm. so. Yeah, it, it is. I think I think the problem. If I'm going to play my own game, because uh, I didn't have mm-hmm. an answer when I asked it, um, I, I think uh, my answer would be the attention based economy, which is a, which is a product of media imported oh, into yeah. the net, which leads yeah. to clickbait and di- data and everything. It's not a value based mm-hmm. economy, <clears throat> and selling your attention because they're not selling your data; they're selling your attention. And, and to do that, Good point. they trick you and they grab your data and they have horrible experiences and they silo. Is it and possible, me, though, that the, se- that the net is self-healing in that regard? That, you know, like Adam Smith's invisible hand, you know, fixes markets. Uh, wait, the- wait, but we already know that the invisible hand has not worked out. Well. Because, uh, uh, no, it hasn't because of regula- like regulatory capture. The governments have turned into a weak enforcer of the invisible hand. Right, um, right. The, his theory was that if you act in your own self-interest, uh, magically everything works out. But I think that in the on the web anyway, uh, things like, you know, this attention-driven, influencer-driven, clickbait-driven thing i think that goes away after a while because people get tired of it it's it's more i think the web the internet in general is more it's like life it's it it ebbs and flows it comes and goes and when bad things happen they you know they have they will happen and then they will they will go away and and uh and i think it's gonna be more and more like the ebb and flow of life itself because it, it really is isn't it i mean it's 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 not separate from how the world is in any way and as it becomes less so, it becomes more like the world. Is that not true? Mm. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen this ebb and flow quite as much. But well, we're well, you know we're we're, we're, we're fish, younger, Stacy. We're a fish in the middle of it. <laughs> we've been we've been ebbing and flowing a lot longer well, but, than you have. But we, you know, we can't like, see it because it's on, it's on a larger in... scale than we're aware of. It, but it, but it happens. Okay. I think it, it does happen. I've been around and, for the whole of the internet, <laughs> Jeff. But and well, well here's the even, you Stacey, wouldn't say you that it's been. it's going in one direction, one direction only, and that's no, that's all that's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. I, so let me, let me give I, you an example. Yeah. Go ahead, Stacy. Sorry. Oh no, go in. No, no, you go. Then I'll go. No, no, you go. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel like I'm guilty. Jeez. I will say uh, when you were talking about the whole clickbaity attention thing. Um, as a content creator, I believe we are all guilty of it to an extent because there are moments where we have to be able to to get attention to say, hey, check out this piece of you art. You've got to sell yourself. It. Yeah. Right. You know, so that, that there, but there is a line. You know, I shouldn't create episode 131 of Hands On Photography that's all about frequency, frequency separation and say, hey, check out this beautiful model that I'm working with today as the title. You know, that that's just wrong. You know? The Internet's made of people. It's unreasonable to expect people yes. to just like Lambda to be nice all the time or maybe yeah. even I was going to say time. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so so but it's but just like people, it comes and goes and there's good and there's bad. And uh-huh. uh, and I don't think that it's yeah, we all do some marketing. Um, and then, you know, some people think that the way they can market themselves is to add more value as opposed to trick you into reading the article. 
Um, but there's going to be both kinds, and neither one's going to mm -hmm. go away. It's people. It's just the way people are. And I well, hope Stacey, let me, let me people ask you. are, you know, I admit people like junk food. And just like they like junk food, they like junk content. Um, I guess, uh, you know what, Jeff, you'd be an expert on this. Because mm. that's the, this is what people were saying about Having television. Having worked at People Magazine, yes. I, no, I, but I this is what people said content. about television, that the, in, oh, inevitably... Yeah. Television would would pander to the lowest common denominator. It's what they said about fiction. Is it safe uh, to the, say that the, about the, TikTok the, as well? Yeah, because just I mean, granted, there's a lot of ridiculously talent out there in the TikTok space, but man, there's I get so many random text messages of a TikTok clip that I'm like, why is this? Why does this have so many Exist. millions of views and it makes no sense whatsoever? Just some something mindless of someone getting kicked in the nuts. So all media, all media does this, right, Jeff? Yeah. Anytime mm -hmm. yeah. oh, media yeah, has to live by the size of its audience. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, if you're producing opera, that's the attention-based marketplace. Right. Yes, mass media is what's wrong. Right, but is it wrong? I mean, is well, it inevitably wrong? In yes, other words, because the TV, idea of the mass is an TV, insult to the people. Did TV become a complete and utter wasteland? I would submit no. What, no. Uh, well, once it moved past... Um, I mean, the golden age of TV was BS. It was not golden age. It was chunk in the early days. I think TV's better now <laughs> than it was then. So uh, It, it is, so not this, broadcast TV. Broadcast TV has gone down to the... Uh, but, but we have Well, HBO, but that's the we, point. We have okay, succession. so that's my point. I guess that's what I'm saying, is that... More choice yielded if more If you follow quality, a yes. single tributary, yes, but the ultimate river of life, the whole, the whole yes, I agree. Absolutely is, agree. Is, is not going to go in one bad direction. In fact, it may go in one positive direction in the long run because people are going to ultimately want value in the long more run. Better.